I'd say this set is a pretty bad batch. <laughs> Anyways, guys, what's up? More Mission Fleet stuff. And I got myself the Bad Batch 4-pack, courtesy of pre-ordering it on Amazon, because it was only 20 bucks. You know, like, I'm not getting all the other Bad Batch things, like, I'm not going to get the Disney toy box or the Hot Toys. I'll probably end up getting the Lego set at some point, just because, you know, you get them all. But you get almost all of them in this set, which is called uh, Commando Clash. Clone Commando Clash. You've got Hunter, Echo, Imperial Crosshair, and Wrecker. Where's Tech? He comes with an ATRT that has not come out yet. So I'll review Tech when he comes out on his own, but we will open up this set and take a look. It's got some cool art on it, though, before I totally rip into it. I like the artwork. I think that looks nice. Anyways, bye-bye, box. Last time you'll ever see it in good condition. Ooh, okay, let me... Oh, there we go. All right, we're getting there. We're getting there. All right. So, let's start with Hanta. I'll try not to do the whole Omega thing again. I'm sorry. That gets annoying. Ugh. Okay, let's... Ah, uh, geez, they taped in his knife. Can the knife free itself because it is a knife? Ooh, look at that. It did. All right, so we'll look at them one by one. Let's get... Let's get the whole box out of here, because that's literal garbage now. So, we've got Hunter in Mission Fleet style. And, uh, yeah, these figures are really cool. Um, I really like the little Mission Fleet things. Oh, can you actually... Oh, yes! Does it rotate to be in the proper orientation, or am I breaking it? Because, um, like, he, ha he has the sheath on his arm, but it should be, like, facing the other way, I think. Um... I don't know if I was, like, starting to break it there or what. Um, does it rotate? Ooh, I think it's just pegged in. So, yeah, was, don't rotate that because I think you're going to break it. Because I think I'm just, like, I, I don't... I, am I breaking it? Because it's not... Or is it just a peg? Dude, I don't... I don't know, man. I don't know. Can I Can I pop it out? Because it's, it's, it's a separate part. Because that, that is immediately bugging me, that his sheath for his knife is not in the wrong, is not in the right direction. Um. Oh, it's like it's in there. Oh, it's like glued in. Okay, so yeah, it's like glued in. So you'll just have to live with that unless you want to like really mess with the glue. And I'm not about that today. I'm not about that. But yeah, for being how being so small, this is really good. This is a really good little hunter figure. Unfortunately, no no gun for him. He just has his knife, so we'll leave that out. And we'll have it underslung, because that's cool. So yeah, he does have his cool little, like, vibro blade. He looks nice, man, for how small he is. Now let's get in the comparison right away with Rex. So you can see, yeah, he looks really good with Rex. That's really awesome, man. I really do like that. And then his articulation, you already saw. He's got a ball hinge at the shoulder. Swivel at the wrist, ball joint at the uh, at the head there. Nothing at the waist, and he just has swivel legs. So yeah, I mean, for how small these figures are, they're pretty decently posable. I do like this line. I do. I think it's pretty neat. I wonder if they'll do Havoc Marauder, and it'll it'll include like a normal crosshairs or crosshair, I should say. I'll always get that confused. Crosshairs is the Transformer. Crosshair is the Clone Trooper. Because um, I'm filming this, the we have not seen the actual finale of the show when I'm filming this. So so we'll see what goes on with Crosshair. Speaking of him, here is Imperial Crosshair. This is the first action figure of him available. Because, um, I mean, there's the Lego one out now. But there's uh, this is the action figure. Then, ooh, you can't actually store the rifle on his back. So that's really cool. I guess you'd probably... Want it flipped up like that or something? Yeah, that's really awesome. You can actually store the rifle on his back. That's really cool. And thankfully, he has the accurate shoulder pad, something that the Black Series didn't even get right. Um, can You You cannot flip the visor. But yeah, man, he's really cool. Same articulation. You know, nothing, nothing new or special there. But, I mean, this is really cool. I really do like this set. I'm eager to get tech, so it'll be my first complete set of Bad Batch. Um, cause I, I like the Bad Batch. I don't love them. <laughs> you know, they're not my absolute favorite thing ever, but I do, I do like the Bad Batch. I think they're pretty cool. So yeah, there's, a uh, there's Imperial Crosshair with, uh, with Hunter. This is who I am. That's lame. So yeah, there's, 
There's how that is. And then we have a Wrecker. This is my first Wrecker figure. Because um, I've not gotten my hands on the Black Series quite yet. And I'm not really in a rush to either. Because it's like, what's the point of rushing to get, you know, Tech and Wrecker when there isn't even Echo revealed yet? Like, we don't even know when we'll get Echo. And it's like, Echo's a very... Sure, it's like we'll be able to complete the original Bad Batch team. But, I mean, come on. Echo's, Echo's like... You know, he's an OG. He's an OG clone trooper. I wouldn't like the Bad Batch nearly as much if Echo wasn't a part of it. And I wasn't even a big fan of the idea of, Re of uh, Echo being brought back to life initially. Ooh, yikes. I don't know if you saw that. I was trying to put the knife in his little sheath there, and it totally bowed on me. See that, how it's kind of bowing? That is really tight. Wow. That is super tight in there. But, what we got... Is a pretty cool Wrecker figure. He does have his rifle, so that's cool. Same articulation. Nothing new or special going on there. His helmet looks really nice. Yeah, I really like him. He's got his backpack, too. But I do have to see, is he taller? Yes, he is noticeably taller. That is good. That's really good. He's noticeably bigger than the rest of the team. And he's really cool. I really like these guys. Man, that's really neat. I really can't wait for Tech now to uh, have a complete set. Oh man, that's nice. And I'd, I would love to see a Havoc Marauder. I think that would be such a cool f thing. Because I don't have any of the big vehicles in this line yet. Um, I've, I've been eyeing the Razor Crest. And I'm like, ooh, that looks nice. But I've just been eyeing it. But then, we've got Tech. I mean, not Tech. Oh my gosh. I saw his weird technology arm thing that I'll talk about here in a second. I thought he was tech, but no, he is Echo. This is Echo. And this is probably my favorite figure out of all of them. There we go, plastic tray is done. This is probably my absolute favorite. Because this is number one, my first Bad Batch Echo figure. And number two, just look at him. Look at this, this is cool. He's got his backpack with the antenna on it. He does have a pistol which is nice. But one thing that this figure features that has not really been in the show, at least, you know, there's still the last episode. Um, so this might be in the last episode. But not only this figure, but also the Hot Toys figure features these arm attachments. Ooh, that's a little bent. Like, he's got this arm attachment for, like, this claw, and it looks super cool. It's super toyetic. I love this claw. But he hasn't had it in the show. So I'm kind of like, it's, it's a little, it's a little interesting. It's inter it's an interesting inclusion, but I very much like it. But he does have his, just his like, R2-D2 sort of like hacking device. So he's got that. He's got the red trim. I love Echo's helmet. It looks really cool here too. Man, this guy's sweet. Now let's compare him with the other members. So there's... There's the good guy Bad Batch that we have in, from this set so far. The ones that have very matching outfits. Because Tech, he's got like the lighter gray. So he it's almost like he sort of stands out. Then here's Crosshair. So yeah, let's, uh, let's get a look at this set all together. Because these guys are really sweet. Oh man, I'm loving it. <laughs> these guys are really cool. And here, let's... Get rid of bad by ooh, bad by bad guy crosshair. Let's put in Rex, so you can kind of see how they look. Man, that's really nice. These are so cool. I mean, they're, they're only like five dollars a figure, right? They're not that expensive. It's not like you're breaking the bank if you're you decide to buy these. If you're just like, say, if you just collect six inch or three and a quarter inch, but you're like, I I want some cute little bad batch guys in my life. These are cool. These are cool. Go for it. I like them. I definitely recommend this set. I don't know if it's... I think it's currently available to order on Amazon, but I don't know if it'll ship right away. I ordered mine, like, as soon as the page was put up, so I got mine pretty quick. So, yeah, there we go. The Bad Batch Clone Commando Clash Mission Fleet set. I recommend it. It's really cool. I, I definitely like it. Uh, <laughs> these guys are just so neat. I mean, how poseable are they? They're not super poseable, right? They're, they're pretty basic in the posing. Like, we can get Crosshair back there, like, uh, yeah, I'm Crosshair. 
This is who I am. And then Wrecker's going to be like, oh, let me get my big old knife. Ooh. There we go. That's so tight in there. Oh, yo, get you, crosshair. You traitor. You betrayed us. You, you guy. And then, and then Hunter's going to be like, you betrayed us, you guy. And then Wrecker's going to say, is there an echo in here? And then he's going to be like, yes, I'm Echo. And then Echo will come in, and he'll be, like, you know, fighting, and then it's, you know, it's the Commando Clash. They're clashing. Look, look at that clash right there. That's quite the clash. They're very playable. They're small, and they're playable, and they're fun. And I think kids will love these. I love these. And, uh, yeah, I've, I've, I've been rambling on enough. Thank you so much to the patrons of Patreon. I would not be who I am without the support of lovely people like you, as well as just the viewers and the awesome people that watch the channel and support it. I love you guys. Thank you so much. Alrighty, there we go. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.